Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have another Kamen Rider X-Aid review for you today. This is the DX Dangerous Zombie Gashat and Bugster Buckle. And basically how this works is if you already have the Gashacon Bug Visor, this is a kind of belt buckle that you can mount it to to get some additional sounds out of it. And you also get the Dangerous Zombie Gashat. Now technically, you could kind of put the Gashacon Bug Visor into belt mode without this um but there's really no other way to get the dangerous zombie gash hat so you kind of have to pick up this set if you um don't have the gashicon bug visor there is a set with all three uh but if you do already have it this is the set that just has these two so you don't have to rebuy it obviously uh but really nice picture of uh common rider genmu and his zombie persona here really nice suit i like that a lot Another little picture of him there on the bottom, on the side, pretty much just more pictures. And then taking a look at the back, you can see it just says to combine with the Gashicon Bug Visor. And we'll take a look at how all of that works. So, without further ado, let's pop this guy out of the box and we'll take a closer look. Alright, so here are the two main components that you get in the box. You do also get like the plastic belt straps um, and the two little rectangular pieces to slide over, like belt loop pieces. Um, I don't bother taking those out of the box just because I can't wear these and it's a lot easier to just show you without the belt loop. So obviously you would feed them through here and just like every other rider belt that's ever come out, they're just the plastic belt straps that you, you know, peg one end into the other end and, you know, make a circle with it. It's nothing new. Um, but this is the buckle. Here you can see the two big tabs that are going to go into the back of the Gashicon bug visor. So there's that. And then, of course, we have the dangerous zombie Gashat. It's a very cool, like, not super bright white, but kind of like a pearl white uh, color which is pretty nice. I like the sticker here on the front. Very cool. And then on the side here, you can see it says Dangerous Zombie. On the back, you get the QR code for the Gomb Rising game. Batteries are included. You just pull the tab out. So taking a look here. You can see the light up part, and he says Dangerous Zombie. Very cool. It's kind of funny that like normally the riders are just straight up and down and he's kind of like weird bendy to the side, but it'll make sense once we put it in the Gashicon bug visor. So So there you go. We got the win and lose sounds. We got dangerous zombie. Very very cool gash hat. I like it a lot. Um, that's pretty much all it does on its own. So let's go ahead and bring in the Gashicon Bug Visor. Now what I was saying before, how you can do this kind of without the belt buckle, how it works is there's a pin in here and there's a pin in here, and pressing these down at the same time is what puts it into the driver mode instead of just the, like, gun or chainsaw mode. What you can actually do is if you have the little piece that comes with it, like the hand part, if you push them in at the same time, one with the piece and one with your thumb, and you just do it at the same time, even if you let go of this one because the other one's held in still, it'll do the belt functions. So you don't have to keep both your fingers in here at the same time. As long as you press them at the same time and then keep one of them down, it'll still think they're both down. I noticed that the other day when I was playing with it before this came out. Um... Obviously, though, you're going to want the zombie, dangerous zombie gash hat, and there's no other way to get it without this. So that workaround exists, but I guess isn't really needed because, you know, there's no other way to get this. They don't. If they ever sell this separately, then I guess you could just get this. But honestly, the cost for these two things, I think it's like an extra five to ten dollars to just get these plastic pieces. So it's not that big of a problem. But in any case, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that this is on. And then you're just going to pop this on. 
and it's going to start the pulsating. You're going to pop this in. And then we're going to press the red button right here. Now I'm going to do that again. For some reason, this one doesn't show up that well. And I'm not 100% sure why. I'm guessing it's just because the lights on the actual Gash Hat are better than the lights in the uh, Gashicon bug visor, but I'll try it one more time for you. So there you go. Um, so now he's transformed, uh, and I really love the little jingle there for Dangerous Zombie. I think that's pretty cool. For... You can do two special attacks now. On the show in the directions, they tell you to start it off, you have to first press these two buttons at the same time. But I was playing with it, and I noticed you you don't. So what I'll do is just first I'll do it together how it shows. Then you can choose either A or B. So A is critical end, but if you hit A just by itself, it still starts the pulsating. So you can see it's the same sound. So I don't really know why they say you have to hit both at the same time. I mean, it's fun to do, but you don't really have to. Uh, you could just hit, so if I hit them both again, just again for fun. And then hit B. And again, the red is kind of just flashing, but again, it's hard to see. But so A is critical end, and B is critical death. But again, if you just hit the B button... It's the same sound. So in any case, you do have two finicker, finishers, critical end and critical death, which are both pretty cool. I like that a lot. So I think this is definitely fun. Like I said, I love the... Uh, dangerous zombie gash hat. I think that that's neat to all the functionality you already had with it being a weapon. They've now turned it into a changer. Um, so I think that's neat. I think it's cool to just slap a little plastic piece at the end and now it's a, it's a changer. So I like that a lot. It's a henchin device. And then you get the two uh, critical end and critical death finishing moves. So very cool. Take it out. You just hold this button down pops out and now you've got this and you can turn this off so very cool now because this is a gash hat it has all the same functionality as a normal gash hat so i'm going to go ahead and pop this in the gamer driver So there you go, it has normal level one transformation sounds. And then go ahead and pop it open. <laughs> so I love that little jingle, I think that's hysterical. And then we'll pop it into level three. So very cool. I think it's neat that when um, Genom uses this in the Gashicon bug visor or the Bugster buckle, or I, I guess it has a combined name that I should probably look up. Uh, Buggle Driver. Is that right? Yeah, Buggle Driver. So when he uses this in the Buggle Driver, he becomes level 10. But if you use it in the uh, Gamer Driver, you can get the normal level 1, 2, and 3 sounds out of it. So I think that's kind of cool because they didn't have to do that. Because uh, most, you know, usually the guy who's using this is going to level 10. He's not going back. 
but they still decided to include level one, two, and three sounds in here. So I think that's really cool. I appreciate that a lot. Um, and it does have some functionality with the Kimawaza slot holder. So let's check that out. So not incredibly original as far as the sounds go, but it does have the functionality. And with the normal Gashikon weapons, So pretty cool sounds there. The other thing I was just looking at, it's kind of interesting to note, and I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera, but the white plastic of the Gashikon Breaker is a little bit brighter than the white plastic of Dangerous Zombie. I don't know if that's intentional or just a coincidence of what they made it out of, but very interesting. So I think this is a really fun set. I mean, the Dangerous Zombie Gashat is fantastic. I love the design of it. I love the color scheme, the sticker, the sounds. All its functionality is fantastic. Um, it creates one of the coolest looking suits on the show, in my opinion. Um, the buckle itself, you know, it's not that great because it doesn't do anything on its own, but it serves its purpose. And if you have the uh, Bugster buckle, I'm sorry, that's the Bugster buckle. If you have the Gashikon bug visor, you can create the uh, DX buggle driver. So you can get to level 10 with the dangerous zombie Gash hat. Um, I don't think this thing is going to be sold by itself, like in a separate release. I think if they were going to do that, they would have told us by now. Um, so unfortunately this is the only way to get it. If you're just looking for the Gash Hat and you really have no interest in the bug, Gashikon Bug Visor or the Bugster Buckle at all, this is going to be the cheapest way to pick it up because the only way you can get this is in this set or the one that has all three. So, <laughs> I definitely recommend the set, um, especially if you have the Gashikon Bug Visor because then they go together and it's a lot of fun to play with that. Um, if you're just looking for the the Gash Hat, I recommend it as well because it's the cheapest way to get it. I think I got this on HLJ for around 3000 if I remember correctly. So it's kind of like 15 for the Gash Hat and maybe 10 for the Buckle, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, you know, the Buckle is not super expensive because it doesn't do a whole lot on its own, but it does serve its purpose with the Gashikon Bug Visor. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, I like the set. I recommend it, but I'd like to hear from you and see what you guys think. So let me know what you think. Please like and share this video, and please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the DX Dangerous Zombie Gash Hat and Bugster Buckle from Kamen Rider X-Aid. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.